to start an assessment with the smart response, you want to have the teacher tools open and then you can just select start an assessment. Now once this is open, you will click the orange icon in the bottom left and just select. Now here it's very important to start with a title page as this keeps the numbering of your questions correct. Other if you don't include a title page, the numbering will be messed up and the students won't be able to answer the correct questions with the correct numbers. Now there are different options for your assessment. You can choose assessment, quiz, exam, test, or custom. However, smart response does not weigh them differently in the student average. That's something that you have to do after importing the results to Markbook. Now once you have the title page included, you can start modifying the date and the grade. Alright, now that the title page is created, you just click next steps and add a question to the next page. Now there are six different types of questions that Smart Response allows. You can do a yes or no question, multiple choice, number, fraction, or decimal input, true or false, multiple answer where the students would select all that apply, or a text input where the students would type out an answer using the letters on the, on the clicker. So I'll just show you how to create a multiple choice question first and just click next. Here is where you type in the question that you want to ask. So you might want to ask what is the symbol for oxygen. Now you can also change around the font, the colors with this box, the, uh, the bold, italic, underlined, etc. Now you just click next and you can have as many options as you want between 2 and 10 and you just select uh, input the options right here. Now you just click next and you can weigh this the questions with smart response by changing the point values and this is very useful for assigning different different uh, weights to different questions and here you can also input the explanation for why this answer is correct and uh, that will allow the students to see why their answer is wrong or why their answer is right. And you just click finish. And you can continue by adding a question to the next page. Uh, all of them are fairly str the same, but text is an important one because it's slightly different. So here you type in the question. Now here is where you type in all the answers that you're willing to accept as correct. So the correct answer is chlorophyll, but you might be willing to accept if the students leave out one of the L's or maybe the H. Now you don't have to do this, but it is a feature that Smart Response offers. And you can also select the this is an opinion question option and that makes the question not count for marks on your on your uh, assessment. Uh, here again you can type in the explanation for why the answer the answer is correct or why certain other answers are incorrect and just select finish. Now you can also uh, add add images to your quiz or test or assessment. You can also add uh, background colors so I'll just show you how to do that. Maybe for the what makes a chemical that makes a plant green you might want to insert a picture file. And then you can just select any image that you have on your computer and put that in. Now also for changing the background color, you just click this option and you can click fill effects. And you have options for solid fills, gradient fills, like which is two colors mixed together. So it allows the for a more engaging visual for the students. And once you're ready to start the assessment, you just want to click this top left uh, tab that shows the slides. Click it, uh, go to the title page, and then you want to click
And then you want to click the bottom left, which is the smart response orange picture. Go to properties, and this allows you to start the assessment now. Alright, that concludes this tutorial.